This is Mr. V again today. We are going to do your first lesson in Autodesk Inventor. By now you should have watched the Inventor introduction that I've posted on my YouTube channel. And now you're going to do your first lesson. You are actually going to make a 2D sketch. So open up Inventor. You should see this page. Okay, remember there's part, assembly, drawing. We will do all three eventually. Right now we're going to do a part file. So click that. Okay. Okay, so go to new, I'm sorry, new English standard IN part file. And we're ready to start. Okay. The first thing you need to do is hit start 2D sketch. Click in the XY plane. Okay. Now we it went from 3D model to sketch because we're going to do a 2D sketch. We're going to make several different lines and shapes in this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you how to dimension, which is very important. You always want to dimension your sketches and anything you make. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a line. Okay? We've got our pointer. Uh, let's do it in this upper left quadrant. Okay? Drag it out. And you can see it starts telling you how many degrees you get. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways to end the line tool. So the first one, I'm going to drag this line out. And you notice it stays on the line, but I don't want to do that anymore. So right click and choose OK. Back to our pointer. We're also going to make another line. We're going to make a vertical line now below it. And this time, instead of right clicking OK, I'm going to double click. And my line tool is done. It ends that line, but I stay on the line tool, which I don't want anymore right click hit OK so now you have two lines okay a horizontal right line that runs left to right a vertical line that runs up and down we're gonna add a dimension to those lines so click here dimension and what you do you hover on the line it'll turn red it may turn green if you have a gray background it's gonna change the color one way or the other okay hover over the line click and drag up okay and then click here to stop it. So now it says edit dimension. That line is 0.3998454. It's rounded up to four tenths of an inch. I want this in, this line to be 1.5 inches. You can hit enter. I prefer to hit the green check. Everything disappear. Okay. Remember how I talked in the intro when that happens. Your cube is here. Hit front and it drags it back in and resizes it. Okay. If you notice up here we're still on the dimension tool and that's okay. I want to be for now. Okay. Dimension this vertical line and it changed the size of it when I changed this one. It made it one and one hundred thirty six thousandths of an inch. Okay. Let's change that to two point two inches. Hit the green check and it has put that line above my first one. Okay, I don't like that. So right click, hit OK, grab this line, and let's move it to the left here. Okay, so now they're not overlapping each other. I'm also going to move this line just to get it out of the way. Okay, the good thing about dimensions, I can double click it. If I just want it two inches, I can change it. If I want it 2.4 inches, I could change it and it does that okay so leave that at 2.4 inches we've done a line so now let's make a rectangle okay and I'm gonna stay in this quadrant for now so make sure you drag your rectangle it tells you the dimensions there okay what they're gonna be and we're not worried about that because we're gonna go ahead and dimension it later one thing I do want you to make sure Make sure you're on the two-point rectangle, okay? You've got several different ones to choose from. Use a two-point. That's the most, that's the easiest one to use. Right-click, okay. Let's add some dimensions to this rectangle. Let's make the top and bottom 1.45 inches, okay? And the side, still on my dimension tool. Let's make it... one 
an inch. Okay, and what I want you to notice, we've made a parallelogram, a rectangle. This side and this side are going to have the same dimensions. The top and bottom are also going to have the same dimensions. Okay, so that's the line in the rectangle tool. Um, let's make a circle now, and we can make it. Let's make it over here. You drag it, it tells you the diameter. Okay. Just like a rectangle on a line, we can add a dimension to a circle. So let's do that. Click on the outer edge. That tells me it's 1.42 inches. I'm going to change that to a 4 inch circle. It's probably going to zoom out and I'm not going to be able to see it. Okay, not too bad. Okay. So it's pretty big. Let's drag, let's take that circle. Let's see, stop it. Okay. Trying to do the dimension. We don't want to do that. So right click, hit OK. Get off that dimension tool. I'm wanting to move the circle. Let's see. I don't like that. So let's hit the front. Zoom out a little bit with your track bar. Change that circle's dimensions to two inches. Okay, now it fits. Come over here again, hit the front button, and you can see we're in a, that plane. So in this upper left quadrant, you should have a vertical line with this dimension, a horizontal line with this dimension, a rectangle with these dimensions, and a circle with a two inch diameter. Okay? So that's in our first quadrant on the upper left. Use this span tool, or the pan tool, I'm sorry. Let's move everything down a little bit. Okay. I want you to be able to see in this quadrant. Then get off that pan tool, right click, OK. So now we're going to do some different things with lines. We're going to make a triangle, and we're going to make a parallelogram where the sides aren't straight. They're going to be angled. Okay. So let's choose line. And this is a good thing about making a triangle. Okay. That stays. You stay on your line tool. Close the triangle. Notice when I hover over the end of a line, see how it turns from yellow to green? That tells me I'm there. I'm going to double click. I'm done with my line. Right click, hit OK. I want you to dimension this triangle. Make it three inches. Make this side two inches. And this side as well, two inches. And remember, when you do a dimension, you have to click and hold. Don't let off of the mouse. you got to click and drag two inches. Okay? So now we've made that a right triangle. Okay? So we've made a right triangle. We could always go back and edit those dimensions and things like that. Okay, so we've made a right triangle. The last thing we're going to do on this video, we're going to make a four-sided figure and the sides are not going to be straight. Okay, so click on line. I want you to come here, make a line. This side, angle it in. Okay. Then go past it a little bit and then close that back. Now we've made a closed figure. Right click, hit OK. Let's add some dimensions. Okay, here I want to make it 3.2. Okay, notice it didn't do it on the bottom like a rectangle. So I want I'll have to go and do that as well. 3.2. Okay, 3.2 inches. On this side, let's make it 1.75. Do the same thing over here. And it already did it. Okay, and sometimes Inventor does this. It asks you about accepting a driven dimension. Just hit cancel. We're not worried about that. Okay, this side and this side are the same. Okay, because we've already added these dimensions to stretch it out. So we're done with this lesson. Okay, we've drawn in two quadrants. If you hit front there, 
it zooms out you can see everything okay and remember your trackball lets you scroll in and out so this lesson we're finished with so what I want you to do go up here to Inventor Pro click this icon the first time you save anything you have to do save as okay you cannot save a part in sketch mode that's always going to pop up it'll say you cannot save part three four whatever part you're doing in sketch mode so click OK and it kinda goes out of the way there um, you've got a folder here that you've made okay so I'm gonna find that one that says GVC Inventor remember yours should say your initials and inventor click that it's gonna be empty save this as and make sure you save it this way Mr. V lesson one okay when I check it off I want you to make sure you've saved it this way don't just save it as part one okay save it as Mr. V lesson one hit save and you're okay you can go ahead and close out this part of inventor okay and call me over and I will check that off for you okay the next thing you're gonna do once you've done lesson one your first assignment and I've uploaded this to eBackpack for you is Autodesk Inventor Project 1 okay and it tells you what you're gonna do okay you're gonna make some vertical line a horizontal line a circle a rectangle a square a triangle it'll probably turn it to a right a right triangle when you do this that's okay and then a parallelogram okay you see there's two points you check off when you've done it here okay using your e-backpack um, you can use a stylus and check it or you can use a text feature and just put a a Y in there for yes that you've done it okay on this side you go ahead and do it in blue check all everything in blue I'm gonna come when you're done with this lesson and check everything off in red something very important remember we saved it as Mr. V lesson one you still want to use your inventor folder this time save this project as project one okay and make sure you save them with the proper names if you don't save them with the proper names I'm gonna take points off because you're not following directions okay that's it for lesson one um, I think you'll do really well with it make sure while you're doing it you know you pause the video don't try to just watch it straight through pause it and do what I've done in lesson one and then project one you're kinda on your own you um, you can refer back to lesson one and look at that but you've done all of that in lesson one so now you're gonna do it on your own without me talking so good luck and we'll uh, next time we'll do some more 2d sketches we'll look at the spline tool and some different shapes